Hi, my name is Dan and I'm one of the DT evangelists here at Digital Tutors. In this video, we're going to look at a question from one of our users on how the dielectric material differs from the metal ray architectural material when it comes to creating glass. So to illustrate this, I have a couple wine bottles here. And now let's begin by applying a dielectric material to the wine bottle here on the right. So I'll put out my uh, hypershade, go to create metal ray materials and pull in a dielectric material. And then just middle click and drag to pull that onto our wine bottle here. As we can see when we render this out, um, it doesn't really look much like glass. Now, uh, anytime we're dealing with a material like the dielectric material, we want to make sure that our ray tracing is set up so that our rays can be cast all the way through our object. So to do that, we'll want to go into our render settings and open up the quality tab and under ray tracing here we want to bump up the reflections, refractions as well as the maximum trace depth to be enough so that our rays can go all the way through our object. So we can see the result uh, when we bump up our ray tracing we can get something that looks uh, much better as opposed to before. Now, another thing we want to keep in mind when we're using dielectric material is that our geometry has to be a closed surface. And we also want to ensure that our normals are set up properly. Now, we can adjust some of the attributes on this material. Let's go ahead and double click on the material to open it up in the attribute editor here. Now, by default, the index of refraction is going to be set to 1.5, uh, which is the default for like a pure glass. Um, now, we can adjust this, say, let's do something like 1.65. That'll do something like a, a heavy flint glass. Um, now, you can find refractive indices out there on the web if you're not sure uh, what the index of refraction is for whatever sort of material you're looking to uh, replicate. But we can see how uh, that... Uh, changes are the way our reflections are in the glass material here. So this was before at 1.5 and 1.65. Uh, we're getting a different type of reflection within our glass. And we can also do things like say adjust the color. Uh, maybe let's give this something like a little bit of a light yellow color. And we can see how that change is reflected when we render this out. Um, so this was before with just the white color and then we adjusted it to a slight yellow and we can see that that hint uh, in our glass. Um, so as we can see, the dielectric material can give us some great looking glass relatively easily. Now another material that we could use to create glass is the metal ray architectural material. Now the architectural material can be used for much more than glass, um, but we can also use it for glass. So let's go ahead and create a metal ray material X or MIA material X. Um, I'm not worrying about passes here so I'm just going to use this guy. We can right click and assign material to selection. And we can see by default the architectural material doesn't really look anything like glass. Okay so uh, let's come in and double click on the architectural material here to open it up in the attribute editor. Now one of the great things about the architectural material is that it comes with some presets. So um, say if we wanted to use something like a physical glass, we could simply replace that and um, it'll automatically update in order to uh, make that physical glass appearance. So we can see what our wine bottle looks like with the uh, physical glass preset. It's very, very transparent. It's kind of hard to see the outlines here. Uh, but if you look closely, we can see the outline of our geometry. Um, there are some other presets, actually, that we could use as well. So if we wanted to uh, adjust that, we could simply come click on the presets and maybe uh, use something like this glass thin, thick, or depending on uh, what sort of look we're going for, um, we can actually even come in and mix and match in order to uh, get... a completely different looks very, very quickly with the architectural material. So this is what our architectural material looks like with the glass thin preset. And really depending on what sort of look we're going for, we could use either the dielectric material or the architectural material to get some really nice looking glass. 
Now it's important to point out that when you're rendering out a surface like glass that's highly reflective and office often cast things like caustics into the scene, um, how you set up your scene to render is going to play a big part in the final outcome. So if you want to learn some great rendering tips, including how to set up things like caustics, I'd recommend checking out the Introduction to Mental Ray in Maya course.